Welcome back to What the Podcast. I'm Ryan. I'm John. And together we are Ryan and John. On the couch as always, producer Garrett Foya, the lovely Annie the Scove Scoveman. I just got the weird like We back. Oh, oh we what if we were doing this for twenty five hours? <laughs> well, Guess this week uh, it's just the one. Just the one hour. Pretty simple. <laughs> Honestly, some change. Think about it. It's I not mean, really that you know, hard, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know? It's really, it really isn't. We're broke. hot off the heels of a very successful twenty-five hour podcast for Alzheimer's. Beautiful, beautiful. How do you feel about it, John? I thought it was great. I, um, you know, I said it a lot on the stream, but it was, it was fun, and also like it was kind of emotional, weirdly. Yeah, it really me. was. I don't know why, but. I'm just broken, I guess. But yeah, and I think are. I think the whole thing really sucked the life out of me. Like I was like all the effort, all the, you know, all yeah. the hype we've been putting into it. And by the end of it, I just went home and was so exhausted. Mm -hmm. You truly but think it, that you're going to go home and immediately like I go. No, no, no. Yeah. But literally sure. get home. <laughs> We take like a shower. shower. Yeah. We make tea. I go, I go, I go, no, no, no. Like clean up a little bit. I lay will say, down. I do feel like I was more tired afterwards. Where like the last year, I was not tired at all. Because it was daytime. And part yeah. of it was probably daytime, nighttime, and then. But like, I do feel like I I had a little burst of energy when we got off live because it was like we did it, like we're done, and then mm. we did it, Joe. And then we did it, Joseph. Um, I ate something, and I was like. I am ready to go to yeah. bed. Oh, I did sure. not eat anything. Mm. Tell we you like what. The hardest thing for me was my eyes were open for so long that trying to go to bed, my eyes were like, don't want to shut. No, don't want to shut. Yeah. Oh, I could sleep anywhere. I could, I could literally lay down right now and close my eyes and fall asleep in this chair. True, true. And I, I but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. I thought like it was cool having the musical acts, you know, and uh, it was just, it was overall just a huge success. I think we kind of knew we were going to hit our goal, but there was just so much more about, you know, we ended up almost tripling it, which was just so fun. Just short of $6,200, mm -hmm. something in that. It was, it was sixty one fifty five by by the next day. Cause a couple of my friends <laughs> donated. Jumped on. I saw that. At the end. Super cool. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Again, I, I it felt like a, it, did, it felt like it went faster. I, I will say there were moments where you were looking at the clock going like, okay, we have 12 more hours. So <laughs> truly, truly like, what are we going to, you know what I'm saying? So but what we, no, by the end it's done by the end. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. oh, you're right. Oh, by we're the back end, into it. We're back into it. By the end it is done. By the end of it, when yeah. it was done, yes. my feeling was, wait, we're done. I go, no, no, no. No, yeah, it was it like, did. wait, it, that was 20. I don't remember half of it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it went by right fast, by. and uh, what was kind of cool. Um, I mean, I'm like I'm like kind of ruining the facade slightly a little bit Let's by saying this. Hear it. Come but on. at like 3 a.m., we had some some internet issues, and and the stream went down. But we we quickly obviously were like back up, you know, and but it split the recording because last time we we la last year was a, I think the odd one out by saying it we never lost connectivity no the whole time we went 20 and if you look at our you well you wouldn't be able to see it but if you look on the back end of our YouTube channel you can still go back to that live and it literally says 25 yeah. hours in like four seconds it's crazy and that is so cool it's and crazy. so but what was nice about it about the good thing about it going down and having to restart is we actually get to keep all the footage yes. because if you go longer than 14 hours I think on YouTube, they no longer claim to keep your yes. your, your content They're like, at yeah, all. Good luck with that. So because we went down, it was sad because I really did want to hit the full, t like complete twenty five. Twenty five again. But on the it's time nice stamp. because there's so much content now that we can like download and, totally. and go through and the highlights. You already I've did already some. Started of, you already did some of the highlights. So, so yeah, it was, but I thought it was great. It was it was having a cause and and you know. You know, accumulating all that fundraising money for Alzheimer's San Diego was really fun. And and it and it, you're right, it did like push us even further than we're you know, we could have accomplished last year. We just like we're rallying behind a good cause, you know. And I'll say any energy drink did not have the same power as like a huge donation did totally in here when Absolutely. we got one. It was like it was like a renewed sense of like we got this. Like it really changed the yeah. vibe. So that was fun having the element of, Oh, somebody donated a hundred dollars. It totally. was like, we were so stoked. Like, and then we were like up. $60 away from our goal. And then somebody doubled our goal. It was like, that always kind of carried the energy 
which was so fun, I thought. Super cool. Tell you what, I don't think they put any caffeine in those Celsius. Because no. we were drinking those the no. whole time. No, I and I was chugging them. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel a thing, a thing when I got my, I'm going you know, back to Red Bull next my year. venti uh, black coffee. I'm with you on that. I had my venti I black coffee, think, coffee, and that woke me right I up. I truly think it's the taste of coffee for you. No. I, I think it is. Because you have the so. same amount of caffeine as coffee today uh, in it's black a little tea. Unclear. Uh, yes. So. I think it's the taste. Clear. Doesn't make any sense. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm -mm. I will say, um, yeah, because I agree with that. The Celsius didn't seem to wake me up at yeah, all. And I, I didn't even like the taste of them very that no, much. No. But And that's why we're giving Celsius two thumbs down. Boo. Okay, well, there goes our sponsorship with them. Yeah, I didn't if even they come it. calling, tell them to... Just turn around and <laughs> walk right, back, walk right out. back where you came from. No, yeah, See ya. I'll, I'll turn away the sponsorship. <laughs> Thank you. You probably If should. it's Celsius, go ahead. But um, now we're just a couple of uh, regular old podcasters again <laughs> back here in yeah. the real world. I know. So what we, do we, I mean, what do we talk about? We're <laughs> like right back down to earth. What? What you, you think? I was just thinking about our interview. We interviewed the news anchor yes. who came on and she's like, so how long have you guys been you know, doing this podcast? And we we're like. This is our hundred first episode. I was like, "Wow, that is so long!" Like, this is a, this is one hundred two. This is episode one hundred two. And in two episodes, it'll be two years without missing mm -hmm. a, a single, single week. week, which is I wow. think deserves Some its own you know award. Absolutely. But how Crazy. Do, how do you get four people to all sh like <laughs> line up, up once a week for two years? Is I mean, Beyond you know, me. it's the we. I think we talked about it last year too, like on our anniversary. But it was like it's the intention, right? I mean, you mm -hmm. set apart time for anything, it's true. and you know that that gets rewarded, like just your consistency in it. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm stoked for it. So two more till that episode. Uh, That's we cool. won't talk about it anymore because mm -hmm. it, it it was a large part of our conversation for the last couple of weeks. But it was a really fun, and we hope that you tuned in. And if you didn't. There will definitely be some content coming out of that in the next You'll weeks see it. to come. Look out for the and highlights. Now it's Christmas. Well, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I'm sorry, it's not Christmas yet. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, it's Christmas. Thanksgiving. No. Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving, yes, because of your, like the family your, stuff. Uh, jacket's giving Thanksgiving. Hard. My jacket is giving right. fall. For sure. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now it's Thanksgiving. Fall. Okay, so. For well, real. That was Thanksgiving. Oh, it was Wait, fall it was before. fall. I'm confused. Yeah, fall, yeah nothing fall changed. Yeah, happening. but now it's cold out. Like, mm. this week is in the 60s, all week. Okay. Mm. That's cold. That's like true. Fat. I'm ready for a cold that front you're wearing in that, San Diego. That, that, that jacket? Yeah, it was today. cold today. I had it's to shut our door. It's actually a jacket. Shirt it jacket. It's a jacket. Yeah, jacket. Oh, that's Shirt cool. Jacket. That's really I did nice. get it because they sold it at Target when Evermore came out. And it looks like the Evermore jacket. Wow. It does. John doesn't know what I'm talking about. Taylor Swift fans, I'll do... Dang near anything to fill in the gaps for yeah. Taylor. Mm -hmm. I'm only ever okay with Taylor when somebody anonymously donates and doubles her pool. <laughs> that is the only reason. Re Not only when reason. she announces That's another fair. tour, like That's today. Fair. Yeah, I saw your yeah. B-roll. Like, I, I was trying to zoom into what you're waiting for, and then I thought, why am I even zooming in? I know exactly what she's waiting for. It's got to be some that's, sort of Taylor Swift concert deal. thing. Yep. Sorry, breaking the, big, breaking the fourth wall for a second. Deal. If your computer says low battery. Actually. Oh. <gasps> I want to plug battery. that guy in. Gosh, you're right. Just you're breaking right. the fourth you're wall right. for a minute. It's fine. The charger is literally right there. That won't work. Right yes. It, uh, it is notable. As much as... Uh, we we argue. She we hasn't discuss. gone on tour since like twenty. When was the Reputation tour? Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. That's been yeah. a long a day ass time. In infamy. But we, me and uh, me and Megan and Aislinn have been talking. Super fans. And she is calling this the tour. Swifties. What are the what are the Swifties uh, consensus? What do we think? Well, I brought the up tour. the fact that she's calling it like the Era tour. And she posted that she's going through all of her eras of all of her different albums. And I had the thought, she hasn't re-released for, she hasn't re-released Debut, mm. um, Reputation, 1989. You think she's retiring? But isn't that her stuff? And like, that's doesn't it. Doesn't she already own that stuff? I thought it was only her old, old stuff that she didn't That know. is the old, old stuff. Debut is her first album. Oh. And then... <sighs> It seems a little mad. I mean, Reputation in me. 1989 were very recent, and then after that, the Scooter Braun stuff happened. But she hasn't released those yet, so I have the theory that in this, these upcoming months, because her tour is 
starting in four months. Okay. Oh, wow. I have a theory that she's going to release at least two more in the next couple oh, months. Spooky. I mean, we're, we're yeah. excited but about those. I yeah. asked oh, yeah, Megan and Aislinn about, about it because I was like, cool. I don't know good. if it's just like she can't make money off of the, those songs. <laughs> like she can still perform them. Right. But it's just oh, like yeah, the money off sure. of like streaming and stuff. So I don't know. We'll yeah. See. You think she's going to be okay? Financially, she'll she's probably like financially. Yeah, she's going to be, be fine. Right. She'll be fine. Um, she'll be good. I, you're right. I'm not going to go into it. You're right. I should. Nah, you probably shouldn't. But the probably big thing is that they did announce shouldn't. that tickets are only going to be forty nine dollars to four hundred and forty nine dollars. And then VIP stuff the is on like the forty nine dollars would be like the nosebleeds, like the really which far away. the nosebleeds and for like reputation were row, sixty. You tell me you can get a front row seat for four hundred dollars. See, I mean, oh no, 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 they're probably going to block the whole front for like VIP. Oh, so, so not then what's VIP, VIP will be the package. So what's VIP? VIP the most said that it VIP? would be one hundred to like four hundred and fifty dollars, like an That's, add-on. So four hundred, oh, so a thousand dollars. Yeah. So it's. It's so it's more than forty dollars to a thousand dollars. If you want a VIP package, well, it's the same thing as if I want to sit in the front or the if back. If I just want nosebleeds, thing. that's fifty. No, okay, but I don't get. So why is it? But it's not not more than four hundred dollars. It is more than four hundred dollars. Not if I don't want the VIP package. Why would you not want the VIP package? Because what if you're cheap? Well, then you're gonna sit in the nosebleeds. Okay. But but the point is is it's she, the range is further. The range, the range is, is further. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not the just, point is is that even with the highest VIP package this is and re-branding. the highest <laughs> like ticket, okay, it's, it's still under. Dollars. It's still gonna be under a thousand two bucks. grand. Which for any which other concert you go is to, amazing. Like look at the Elton John tickets right now. Oh yeah, I think that's ridiculous. Can you believe that guy? Yeah, he's still on his world. He's literally tour been on his goodbye finale tour he's for at like Petco five next, years. Next week. It, My he mom's literally going. Started it before the pandemic, and then an entire pandemic happened, and then it ended. And he said, "Like so, Let's like I was saying goodbye. I'm still like the long <laughs> goodbye. You gotta Yellow rake in the cash, road. though. You know what I'm saying? Like one last time. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how he's doing. He's he's probably. I don't know. You think he spent all his dough? And he's know. like, ah, I need what I need to do one last tour <laughs> to fund. I mean, it's you know, it's Elton John. What you're not gonna go? You're not gonna go? It's his last tour. I want to know who's opening for him because I feel like he's done a lot of like duets recently with people. Yeah, he's he's kind of hip. Like almost. he's done. He's like he has re- one with Dua Lipa. He has one with yeah. Britney Spears. He's hip and cool. I'm just saying he's like one of the artists. <laughs> one of the only artists that's like. In their seventies, like actually Still connecting on the forefront. with like he's not like a, artists, a crusty you know? old like ah new music. I hate Paul new McCartney. music. Well, he's not. No, he's I not think like out Paul there McCartney's playing his hip stuff. to new music too. Yeah, but Paul McCartney was he drama that, queen. Well, not, yeah, no, not drama queen. High maintenance. Well, yeah, of course. But I'm saying like he now, did. If a, you were a Beatle, you he did be that a, duet uh, with Rihanna a couple years ago, mm-hmm. didn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah uh, Paul, four or five. Four or five, five seconds. He did. Oh yeah. Yeah, he did and that song. And somebody with else. It was a. It and, was a rapper, um, right. And Kanye he did West? "Kiss no. of Venus" with um, what's his name? Kiss of the Venus. Kiss of Venus. That guy, it's that kid that was on um, Kiss, the Kiss of Venus. Yeah, that, that, that kid that was on um, um, Euphoria. Oh, I don't know. Zendaya. It's not important. Zendaya. It's not important. What, what we can guarantee at this show is you'll get a lot of little pieces mm-hmm. of partially true stories. Yeah, yes. that's what we can almost true. be true. It's almost Kinda. an entire Guys, thought. Oh, oh, you want us to have all the information? Oh, really? Ridiculous. You want one hey, source for your info? Do your own research. Yeah. Okay. True. Paul McCartney. Look him up. Now we're alienating you feel our like own listeners. <laughs> if you had Paul McCartney's life, them. you were just you're just kind of doomed to being high maintenance. I mean, at like. He was like famous. He was, I mean, massively he, famous at like twenty, right? I mean, I mean, do you get that famous and that like? Does anyone with that good of music, like, are any of them normal? You know, you have to no. have a certain like turn off. You have to be a sociopath to get that kind of. I mean, we kind of talked about like Jeff Bezos too, right? Like that kind of thing. Like yeah. to get to a certain level, you have to put all of your effort, all of your brain waves into that you know your field your craft i think right? i got it i think i got let's it. let's hear it what hear what it on. is i think is that do. when you're when you're when you're creating something whether it be like an amazon or a catalog of music like all these celebrities okay i think you have to demand like no less than your vision yeah and i think that bleeds into their personal life of like they're so used to being like i'm going to hone this specific piece of art or this business mm-hmm. into this 
like machine of es- excellence yes. that like why would I take anything less in my own life? Like I totally. think that kind of starts to bleed, potentially starts to bleed into being like, sure, like I could do this concert, but like if I don't have my specific people and my specific things, why would I do it? Because it's only because it's, somebody it's not be will. Good. Like if I'm not making a half a million dollars for this concert right. tonight, I won't do it because somebody will pay that. Yeah, like, yeah. like I'm not gonna do this show tonight. I think that for, demand you know, of excellence kind of bleeds into your personal life, mm-hmm. or even your professional as musician. You know, you know. So is it worth it? I get. Well, it's a double question. Uh, initially, I go, is it worth it for that person? Mm-hmm. And I think yes, because Paul McCartney has this gigantic body of work, and I don't know if he's necessarily such a big asshole. But let's, you know. Which let's just is say celebrity, moment. right? This oh. artist, yeah, whoever it is. <laughs> You're right. I you was know. like, let's just celebrity say it is. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, I think he's made a lot of good, but in his life, is it like, does he feel that? Or is he always still like chasing, you know, making True. more stuff, getting bigger concerts? Mm. I don't know. Did you guys see Harry Styles? Costume. What's, what's going on? Harry yeah, Styles. he had a Halloween show he, and he it's dressed his up. Second uh, annual Harry Ween because he's been on tour <laughs> pretty literally hilarious. like since last October. Yeah, that's crazy. Nonstop. Yeah, who, who, who that too? Who huh? okay he was, that one he in the was marketing? Danny Harry Zuko Ween. last night. Yeah, he dressed up like I got you. He was singing yeah, Grease songs. Oh, You're the one nice. that I want. But what's so funny <laughs> is that I saw a clip that was him. He was wearing a Danny Zuko wig. Which literally looked like his own hair, his own hair with a lower like hairline and just mm. black. And at one point, the clip is like, okay, everyone, I'm going to warn you. I might rip this wig off because it's so hot. And I didn't understand because I hadn't seen that he dressed as Danny Zuko. And I was like, oh, he just looks like uh-huh. greaser tonight, whatever. And oh, I was like, oh, is this, is this the, the theory time. that is he like being meta about the people thinking that no. he's wearing a wig because he has hair loss? No. Have you there you've seen that, right? There's a lot of people who think I, he wears a wig. Mm-hmm. What, do you th- that. what do you land on that? I don't believe it. I I guess I've never seen like a version of him where I thought, oh, he's losing his hair. You know, like you see like that guy that runs Barstool, Dave uh-huh. Portnoy, mm-hmm. whatever. He, if you look at an old photo of him when he first started Barstool, and it was like him out in the streets, like interviewing people. Yes. He is clearly having hair loss. And yeah. Because he's like in his, he's like pushing his 50s now. So, you know, 10 years ago, he was... In his forties, mm. right? Mm-hmm. And so, I just look at that. And I'm like, so now that I see him now, because I've seen an old video of him like that, I'm like, sure. he definitely is mm. like, and he had had hair plugs or whatever. So Got I guess it. I never, I never had that moment with Harry where I never saw Harry at a time where I thought he's losing his hair and then like somehow there have been to a couple of pretty damning TikToks yes. that I've seen. Really, Some that clips. of like, I mean, obviously it's it's all circumstantial, of but like it's a like toupee. him, yeah. like no, it yeah, it looks like he's like he's jumping off the stage or jumping from something, and it's like <laughs> the way his hair flaps up, like it looks like yeah, it could be a wig. I can't. He's young. I could. Yeah. I, I, mean, I feel like if there was any rumors about that, I feel like the rumors started months and months and months ago. Uh-huh. So if it was if it was true. He would have had time to get hair plugs by now. Mm-hmm. He'd, he'd be fine. You not if he's on tour. No. The way oh, they do true. hair plugs now, totally. it's a whole procedure. It takes months of first swelling to go down. Like yeah, everyone would know. Oh. What if he's totally. been wearing another wig this whole time? <gasps> a wig to hide his hair plugs. Okay. Yeah. Now hold on. I don't know. I we'll it, we'll see uh, when we go see him. Part of his yeah, we're going brand. to see Harry Styles tomorrow night. You guys are just you guys Boom, doing a baby. tour of your own. Baller. You guys are just We're seeing just, yeah. concert after concert around here. Just pretty baller, not yep. gonna lie. Where are you seeing him? Um, at the Inglewood Forum. The Forum up there by up SoFi there. Stadium. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little. It's where the Chargers play. Nice. Yeah. Over there. Pretty cool. People are psycho. They're probably camping out right now, and the concert's going on right now. Because people one. have been camp. They've been camping out because there's. People like us who bought our tickets sure. for a seat. Mm-hmm. There, if we wanted to, we could go right now and camp out to get a spot to be on the general admission floor. No, because there's no assigned seating. So if you bought a general admission yeah. ticket, then you, you go would and you go get a number and wait in line, and then. Oh, can you give me one? So oh. that so that we're you're back on the 25 hour. Oh wow! People are just getting up yeah. in the middle of. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just just right right over there. No problem. But yep. these nope. people have been camping uh, for the out. Uh, Annie just like the night got before to get good seats. Sure. 
So it's like, yeah, it's well, that's, crazy. no, that's what I'm saying. Like, so that you would be at the front of mm-hmm. this crowd and not at the back of this crowd. Yeah. But what's crazy is I keep seeing TikToks of people being like, I was 800th in line and this is my view. And they're literally in front. Mm. You yeah. just push your way in front. You're number 800. Always. I'll say though, it's pretty baller when artists can sell out multiple nights in the same venue. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Cause I think about oh, that. He I'm did like, like, who does that? He did like 20 straight nights Madison at Square Madison Garden. Square Garden. He has like, like nine here, yeah. I think. Ridiculous. Yeah. Didn't he set the record? Yeah. Tw- oh, well, he well, said, I think. he like got on a list with, I don't know if it was a record, but they put up like a banner mm-hmm. for him, like up, you know, cause they have like other artists, you know, the Eagles and, and whoever, like Probably up, Elton John. Yeah. Elton John and, and Billy, Billy, Billy Joel's Joel. done like, you know, thousands of shows there. And so they have all yeah. these banners up on top of uh, Madison Square Garden. Crazy. Going. Imagine got being one. somebody like the person that owns a venue like that. You know, like you have all those historic people coming through. So and cool. Just, that's cool. I'd love to. I mean, and even like, you know, places like the Troubadour that are like so small mm-hmm. venues. And it's like, that's oh, yeah. Best, and that's though. literally where Elton John got his start. You know, like these, these. I'd love to have iconic. a place like that. Like even the Casbah, like. Nirvana played one time like when they were like touring their first album and it's like you know at the time they were kind of nobodies and then obviously they blew up and became Nirvana and it's yeah. like and they played at you know just our local San Diego Casbah like yeah. it's just cool like how music cool. happens that way you know dang who who owns the Madison Square Garden it's probably some company um, oh, James Madison I think established it yeah. back in the uh, 1700s That's right to be the most iconic like arena yeah he was like Billy Joel's gonna play here. If you don't know who he is yet, I'm sorry. Can you do James Madison's voice if you're gonna be him? James Madison. Oh, Billy Joel. <laughs> okay, all right. He's going to play here. We're good. Now. Actually, we're good. Every Thanks. night. <laughs> That's James Madison. No, it was good. <laughs> that was. Oh, oh I was actually. Oh, it was wait, great. I wasn't actually asking. No, it wasn't good. No, I wasn't asking your opinion. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, I wasn't going to give it. I wouldn't dare give cool, it. Cool, thank you. I know, I know, I know. You wouldn't. Um, Annie, what you got over there? I'm going to kick it to you. You know, we're talking about sociopaths, and we're talking about celebrities, and gosh darn it, if we, if I have to talk about Kanye on this show one more time, oh, geez. I'm going to lose it. But oh, he's in the news again. At, we are podcasters. Dad. We do report the facts, and the facts are he's Kanye done. is back. Well, he's done. He's probably, back, right? but he, and yeah. he's, but he is damned Poor himself guy. even more. Poor guy. Yeah, if you haven't, if you didn't tune into our twenty-five hour podcast, we did talk about this a bit. Did we? Yeah, yeah. just a skosh, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, got a, skosh, dropped, a skosh of twenty-five. Got hours. dropped from Adidas. Got dropped from all his people. I went into Gap yesterday. They dropped him. Too. Gone. Every, the Kanye every drops gone. Yep. Gone. The trash bags. <laughs> You were so bag. confused. Dang You're it. like, what is going on? <laughs> the big like, gap oh, bag. It wasn't even, not even on sale or anything, like just gone. Yeah. Poor guy. Good for them. Yeah. Add it to the list of, uh, you know, just stuff that he said. Take you know, down. the what Jews exactly are. What did he say? He said, um, now he's, he's doubling down, <laughs> which is even crazier. He's saying that when he had his car crash that messed up his face, the doctors in the hospital were Jewish doctors. And ever since then, the Jews have been out to get him. They've been against him. And so that's why he's got all these mm-hmm. mental problems because of the Jews. They're Which controlling is, the media. They're controlling. It's so funny. To His me first thing was a tweet. He tweeted, go DEFCON on Jewish people. Yeah, I'm going DEFCON 5 or Def whatever. DEFCON 3. Def- it, <laughs> it's like, crazy. The thing that's crazy to me is I look at like the hip hop scene. Uh-huh. And... There's a ton of Jewish people who have broken through to the hip hop scene. I sure. look at like Little Dicky and um, Benny Blanco, yeah, who, who sure. helped write like some of the biggest songs that hit pop like charts, yeah, and started as hip hop writers, and mm. they're both Jewish. And like <laughs> this idea that he's like, they're you know they're out to get me, and it's like, dude, they probably grew up praising mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. You're probably one of their idols, and now you're sitting and then, here, you know. And then he barks back and goes, actually, I'm not being racist because all black people are Jewish. Oh, jeez. And he just starts like, you, oh, you trying to track. And then he, he had another interview where he was saying like, oh, Lizzo is, you know, like he's saying like fat women in pop culture thing? are demonic. Yeah. Well, demons are encouraging like gluttony through fat people. Yes, and that to it's, like it's Lizzo and all these fat women who are famous are demons. 
Wow. <laughs> Go ahead and oh mute his mic if you could. Yeah. Like truly, Anyone, truly like, taking the deadly sins and like yeah. really yeah. like taking them yeah, he's to got heart. It. I mean, God. it's like a car crash. Like you can't help but just watch him like, yeah. okay, what? Every time it he's in front kinda, of a microphone, it it's like, like, what that is Gabby he going to say? Hanna moment when Gabby Hanna, I don't know. Gabby oh, Hanna, the YouTuber, had right. a manic episode in which she yes. posted like, 185 or something like TikToks in the span of a day. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it like, that's right. And some of them, what she was talking about, she's like, I can see God. All this yes. Stuff. And it was and that kind like, of thing oof. where you're like, cool. you're worried Maybe about this person right. because obviously they're what having a mental say? health crisis. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're like, but I'm going to watch all the TikToks. But you got to watch. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> watch. Oh, we're TikTok. not going to watch. That's, it's okay. something yeah. sick that's deep inside all of us that mm-hmm. we're like, we Truly. just, we can't help. But so this was, this was one of the quotes that he said on. An interview on New York City's hip hop and R&B radio station. Awesome. He said, Great. man, let me tell you about George Bush and oil money and Obama and no money. People want to say this Obama. recently or was that? No, this was. Oh, this was 2013. Cause, yeah, because back in the day, he, he, he said, famously had that thing where he was on the Hurricane Katrina relief. Like um, it was in 2008. Nice. And it's him and it's Mike Myers. This is a great clip if you've never what? seen it. We're going to watch it after the show. But it's him and Mike Myers. And Mike Myers is reading the teleprompter. It's about Hurricane Katrina. And it's like all the relief yeah. that's going in tonight. And Give. Kanye starts going off script. And oh, on live national television, Kanye goes, he looks dead in the camera and he says, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a and classic. Mike Myers goes, Bleh. And then they just cut the cam. It's yeah, like this so is, great. This is saying people want to say Obama can't make these moves or he's not executing Wes Elmire. That's because he ain't got those connections. Black people don't have the same level of connections as Jewish people. Black people don't have the same connection Yikes. as oil people. Yikes. Oh, and that was I, in and 2013. And that was 2013. Oh, so he's been at it for a while. Yeah. Making anti-Semitic comments. And then he did uh, some, an interview on YouTube in 2015 saying... Uh, it's always that secret thing. I'll find out somebody like a black dude will be super good with money. He'll be like, well, don't tell anyone, but I'm actually half Jewish. Oh, my God. And then he goes, that's a compliment. That's not anti-Semitic. I love Jews. Oh, yikes. But that, that has been like, Kanye didn't Oof. start that stereotype. No, that's that been no. perpetuated. I mean, that honestly, Forever. like that kind of rhetoric was really at the front end of World War II. Honestly, yeah, like that, that was kind of part of it. People talking about, you know, dehumanizing. And it's and it's kind of a dangerous thing not to like fully spin out. But it's like that kind of us going like, oh, you know, when he, every time he gets away with that, it makes it OK for somebody on the like on the crazy end that would act upon something like every yeah. time he says a little bit more, it's yeah. kind of supercharging these people that are like, yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. The Jews are evil. Like, and, and every time you do it, even if we're like, Oh, like Kanye's crazy. There's somebody going, no, he's right. Oh well, my gosh. That's, that's like, true in my life. And I hate to bring it to politics, Yep. but that's like, um, Liz Cheney, Dick Cheney. He was George Bush's mm-hmm. George W. Bush's, yeah. uh, by yeah. VP. His daughter is a Republican representative, and she's, I think she's in the talks of running for president. Um, (laughs) But she just came out and said, like, bluntly to everything, was like, Donald Trump is the reason that the January 6th attack happened. Like, it is his fault. A direct correlation to him, which is, like, a big thing, because, like, the Republicans have been like, oh, well, well, you know, it's It's a little unclear. Oh, she's running Republican? Yeah, and she's like, no, it is his fault. And it goes back to that. It's because you keep saying something and you're a prominent person. And even if you aren't going to act upon it, there are Somebody people who will. are listening to you who are going, yeah, no, yeah. Somebody will break into Nancy Pelosi's house with and a hammer. Oh, jeez. Try to... <laughs> he wasn't trying to hurt her husband. <laughs> he was trying to hold her hostage and torture her and interrogate her. In case yeah. you missed it, uh, Ryan. earlier this week... <laughs> That just happened. A guy, what, do we know the dude's name? No, I don't know. Not important. Bebo Johnson broke into uh, the house of Nancy Pelosi to find Mr. Pelosi Mm -hmm. just hanging out. And with the full intent to attack and keep hostage Nancy Pelosi. Wasn't there something about them being naked? I don't know. Didn't, wasn't that in like the headlines? Maybe that that was, maybe that you added that. Someone broke in. Yeah. The guy was naked that broke in. Anyways, attacked uh, Mr. Pelosi with a hammer and... 
was like threatening his life. And then, you know, cops showed up and took him down. Dude is pleading not guilty, believe it or not. How do you think that's going to turn out? <laughs> that's, uh, I just, I. Yeah. And it goes back oh, to Oh, no, that. the guy who attacked, attacked him is a nudist. Oh, there he we go. is a nudist. There we go. He's not, but he's not. He wasn't naked. He not wasn't naked. practicing at the time, though. No. Okay. He was on strike. Okay. All right. Well, He's um, like, I will not go nude again uh, until I get Nancy Pelosi. And but like, that's just okay. interesting because I feel like if there's anyone who's gonna like be a be a like a voice to those people, mm-hmm. it would be a, it would be the Pelosi. True. She would be the one who'd Pelose. be like, hey, Pelosi would be, be like, you, be you, be nude. I'm still, <laughs> okay. I'm still okay. baffled by the fact that like I and I know we talked about it a little before, but like. She's the only one that has security from the government, obviously, because she's Speaker of the House. But I'm still baffled that they like he doesn't have private security just by nature of like security left and right in this country. He probably would if he worked in security. You know how much they're worth, by the way, them together. They're worth. They're freaking millionaire, if not close to being billionaire. That's what I'm saying. Like aside from her role in the government, whatever. He's also like an insanely rich guy. Like, why wouldn't he have private security? With also knowing that his wife is in in government maybe, office. Maybe because nothing. I mean, right? Like, like this get, has happened. They before. probably get death they threats like him. every day. They probably know. live in the middle of nowhere. They're probably like, oh, I, they live on Capitol Hill. I think. In, no, I think this is in California. Oh, really? Well, she, she was the California. Yeah, they, they have in, uh, they they vineyards. In, they have vineyards so. in. Uh, no, I thought no. they had. They, they live in Northern California, yeah. I believe. What do I know? Well, they have multiple residents, I'm sure. But she's that's a representative I, from California, so I'm pretty sure she lives here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. She is. Uh, <laughs> her, yeah. That's hey, the whole thing. How about to win her. any she's argument? One of our mm, mm, her and Jerry Brown, they were all like related, right? No. Like he, it was her great uncle or something. I'll, I don't know. You wanna, no, her you family. Her ride? family used to literally be the guy, like reign over gov- like governor of California for a long time. Her and her governor extended Jerry family. Brown. I know little to nothing about the government. Yeah, that's why I'm it's not so funny that you're taking a stand on this. But I, I say, <laughs> do it. No, it was more of a bit. I don't know. I just so. feel like sh- that's crazy that this guy was able to get this far into it. You know, I, I guess it's probably yeah. a circumstance where, you know, things just happen in the yeah, perfect like, way. Oh, they, and what, they in. left the back door unlocked? She or lives what? in San Francisco. Mm. It's the most expensive <laughs> city. In the most expensive city in the uh, I don't world. think that's right. I don't think that's uh, true. Can you um, check yes that? It is. Can you fact check that? And she lives like in the city, so it's probably a matter of like. Okay, so I guess the nudist thing is is less uh, <laughs> strange then. I mean, they're they're yeah, everywhere San up Francisco, there. San Francisco, man, they, they don't. are everywhere up there. Yeah. Dang, that's, that's crazy though. Would it's... you uh, would you be a nudist, John? No. Mm. No, no, no. You don't like being naked? No, no, definitely not. Like around. A group of people, definitely around the house. If you're just like kicking it, okay. has um, your entire body ever been the same color? Go ahead. Okay. What? This is 25 hour crap. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. No, there's no way. My what do you mean entire, you're just saying? Like, has your entire, entire body like, ever been the same color? No. Are you asking, ha- has John ever tanned in the nude before? And I'm the asking answer everyone. Is, oh, okay. Well, the answer is The answer no. is no for me. No, but I would love it to be one day. So. Okay. No, she I haven't actually done a spray here. tan. I've gotten I, the last spray tan. tan spray tan. I got okay. was for Kennedy and Connor's wedding. Okay, and that is like the only times is when I've gotten spray tans. My body being the exact same color. Oh, when you were born too. Well, yeah. Dang, you're but right. But I'm saying got her. it is the weirdest thing. Go Good boys. Yeah. Like Go it best. is not natural. <laughs> so being nudist, I'm like. Was that strange? Oh yeah. So being nudist, it's like. Are you just always used to always being the same color? Like well, we're so I mean, that's that's not well, the that's part a, that I'm focused no, on. I'm so used to having tan honest. lines like all the time. Yeah. What is going? Wait, I'm so it's confused. It's the tan lines, John. Well, it's, it's, it's got to be a, applicable in your life. Because I think nudist. I think of oh Black's Beach. God, I think okay. of tanning nude okay. on the beach. Okay. I also feel like nudists aren't always necessarily naked, so they might still have tan lines. I think it is. It's they do like events, right, where you go and hang out. Also, my thought, like, if I was, where does your mind go when you think? Like the logistics of being a nudist. It's not like my body being yeah, the where same does it, color. Where does it go? Where does it go? It's just the idea of That's being naked in front I of people. Of. That 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 is not something I'm interested in. Mm. I will also say I don't know if this is this is just probably my personality to okay. some degree. I don't like love all, the idea all the time. Like given the opportunity to just be naked. Like I okay. I feel more comfortable in comfy clothes than I do just like mm-hmm. being naked. And that's why I'm like. So that's why I don't know if it's just like 
my personality, or I, I don't know. But he's not a nudist. He's a never nude. Uh, never there nude. are dozens Damn. of us. Damn. Dozens. No, I, mm. So that's where I'm like, I just it does, and I always think about this. Okay. Um, because you know we get we, we've done that question before where you're like, have we talked about being an, a nudist? Um, I feel like there was a question about what was one thing. I th- it might have been a pod deck. It was a pod deck. Like something um, about being naked. But I think okay, about this okay. a lot. I was like, I wonder, I know that it would change, but I always, always kind of constantly going like, what if like the whole world, like the norm was being nude sure. and the weird thing was being wearing, wearing clothes. Well, that's, well, I Go mean, in, in France on the beach. Mm-hmm. No, like that's, the, but that's not it. That's, that's like the, enti- the entire world. If everyone didn't wear clothes. Like mm. not cultures or whatever or, or places where you live. It's like you the entire cold. world. You would be you get a little chilly. Chilly. Yeah, I think the I mean, yeah, I just like wearing jeans to stay warm, right? I also know? feel like to some it's degree it, it it really depends on like your upbringing too cuz uh-huh. like my yeah. parents weren't necessarily like nudist. Not <laughs> nudist, but just like they weren't like super like Free spirited. They sure. were very like rigid, rigid. Like this is my job. Got this it. Is, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm like, they weren't like artists even really either. So that, that you have to think about like, I think that that might change. If I had different parents, I might be more comfortable being like, mm. yeah, I'll take my clothes off. You know what I'm saying? But I just right. No, nah, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't I mean, we it. live by the beach, so we we were always like hanging around. Well, in bathing we've already suits we've and, already seen culture shift from the 1940s okay. when these women are wearing like. Dresses, full, right? To full, go to the beach. like bathing suit, like long sleeve, like really cute, like outfits. Let's go back mm-hmm. to that because that's fashion. But I'm saying, <laughs> like, we've gone so that, far from that wow. to the bikinis of today. Oh yeah, of pretty totally. much being you're naked. Yeah, yeah. So and you're most of the time comfortable. Some of these people. I mean, yeah. right, that's a sliding scale. Um, on being a nudist. Yeah, I. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Like when I'm home, I'm at least wearing like shorts or underwear or whatever. Like I'm never mm. like just hanging out naked. Oh, mm. Kara, Kara has something to buzz in on. <laughs> okay. She's Kara, have you ever come home and being naked? At just home? a fact. No. Kara? I don't know. I recall a certain Halloween night. <laughs> okay. So Go do, ahead. You, do you want to keep that in the show? Really? <laughs> you want to have that, that conversation on the show? I'm just saying. Sometimes you walk around naked. Okay. Well, I would imagine you've definitely seen him make it quite a bit. I would. Mean, I, I, actually, no. They actually, their, never. She closes really? her eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. I don't know why you would assume that's that. That's nice, weird. Actually. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, but if the whole world was naked, I'd probably be. I mean, you would just adapt. Look, yeah. If the whole world was naked. If the whole world was naked, we need a no? lot of we need a lot of chafing cream. Yeah. Okay. Let me say lot. that. that well, like the actually, powder. that is true. That is true. Because walking around for me, even in a bathing suit. I'm just like, a health, oh, mm. It's a health issue, right? I mean, public no. public health and safety. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what women's like <laughs> reproductive health would be like, though. Probably a lot better. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Dang. I don't know. Any news that's, or that's no? That's a lot. Um, I didn't grow up with like a nude kind of family. Like it was always like you. Which <laughs> okay. Is disclaimer. Like, me neither. No, just no, want no, to put no, this out there. There's some families where people walk some, around naked. Yeah. There are like, some families where brothers like, and sisters. My dad. Like I'm I've definitely seen my dad in his underwear a million times. Sure. But it was always like even and like I would walk around in my underwear, but it was like you always had a big shirt on. Yes. You always had to yes. have a shirt on. It was right. like. Yeah, where, like, I've talked way. to people, and they're like, oh, yeah, like, I have, like, a nude mom. Like, you know, like, they would just, we would just walk around naked. And I was like. See, that's, <laughs> it, that's what I'm saying. It exists. That, I mean, I just never. People I, are just built differently that way. I mean. I yeah. am a lot more, I'm a lot more comfortable with my body than a lot of people, I feel like. Okay. Um, Brindley McBride has this, well. Oh, yep, call her out. Whoa. Say her name. Nichols. Oh, my gosh. Okay, she's oh. not, she's not coming by the name. She, she got a nude last okay. name. Okay. Even she call got, her got, out got, more. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, she she has this hilarious story of like the first time we ever hung out and it was we were in my room we're in high school and I went to go change and I just like started undressing right right in front of sure. her and I'm like she's like oh my god yeah she's like oh and then I'm like naked at this point and you're I like what I scream because I think like something happened like a bug <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh my gosh, in here. I was like I was like what what and she goes get naked <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah I was like oh yeah. Sure. And I just like I grew up in theater, and then like water yeah, sports. Yeah, in theater we're just, constantly like, stripping you, down. Yeah, but theater you also learned <laughs> you the learned stage. the Weird. the like the trick of like 
fully undressing without showing anything. Yeah, and the like beach and, and like yeah. with like with water polo and swim, it was just like you just change really fast. Like mm-hmm. yeah, whatever. No one looks like yeah. everyone, especially sure. when if you're like with another girl. I was always like oh whatever. Like yeah. who cares? Sure. Um, but so I just and that was the first time I was like. Mm, mm, this is weird. And she was oh yeah. Mm, there, there are two kinds of people. Yeah, so that that was. Uh, there's Annie's and there's Brinley's, you know. Yeah, yeah there's there true. Annie's and there are Brinley's. Isn't that true? Mm. Wow. And you know what? We've made a good team. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> We're not so different, mm. you We're and I. We're not so different. Than Kara, Annie's nudist or no? Um, I feel like if Kara it was m- would. If it was more normal, Kara. Really? If it was more normal, maybe. But I think I'd. Only at the beach to tan. Sure, because you're you're concerned about that all Those one even color lines. situation. All one In the adverse, what I what I asked Ryan, have, Ryan, have you ever come home and seen Kara just like walking around naked? No. No. Certainly comfy not. Comfy clothes. Certainly not. Especially too with you guys, like you live right by at least a robe. Your brother and sister in law, like yeah, that that's a little more. We can get visitors at fire. any time. You never know. Yeah. You never it's know. It's open door policy around there. <laughs> it is a revolving door, truly, <laughs> at our house. Yep. Crazy. So, got to keep those clothes on. Um, well, that yeah, was a great those. little segment. Nudist or hey, not? Hunter, we love <laughs> Look, 102 nudist. episodes. They can't all be winners. They can't all be winners. Have true. you guys ever been to Black's Beach? Um, never. I have been. Never. Did not you great. See? Not fun. Do you see Nakies? It's, it's the, all old people, the isn't people it? The people that it's are nudists are never the people you want to see nudists. You never want them to be. See, I feel like if it was all old people, I'd be more comfortable. You actually wouldn't, and here's why. Really? <laughs> Let me because tell you why. the human body, um, while while still, you know, your heart, I'm sure, stays Everybody's healthy. Everybody's beautiful, true. And every, you know, mind is like the same, you know, as they were when they were just a young <laughs> lad. Uh, the body does break down in certain ways. No, I know. Um, I feel like I'd be more comfortable because I'd be the best. Oh, you're saying oh, you, you being with, nude with a bunch of old people? Um, yes. Okay. See, that, I would be less circling less. back to what Annie said is it's never like a cool old guy. It's like a weird <laughs> old guy yeah. or gal. I've seen or like <laughs> I've seen like Europeans at our beaches with like tiny, tiny, little, tiny speedos. Oh yeah, yeah I did see that this summer. Is we saw a group of um, I, I'm assuming they were European tourists. I think they were French, and they showed up to the beach in normal clothes. Um, stripped down, fully naked, on the beach, and, and changed into their on. bathing suits, and yes. went into the water. Super, just went for super it, like European right in front of us to change on the beach. Yeah, what? Whatever. Let's times. do it. Who cares? I mean, I did that, at that moment. I, I was caring. We surfer change most of the I time. Did, yeah, I just wasn't like. Yeah, but that's like my. I wasn't ready to see what I saw <laughs> that day, yeah. and it was it was just a whole batch of fun, you know. So <laughs> it's a lot. But that's I, a lot. but but Rusty. yes, I think. I mean, yeah, like old man Ryan here like ah, don't change on the beach like if that's the norm it's like whatever like different culture yeah I went to anatomy class I, I know what that looks like I know what you have there I, I and, know what's going and on and you there. do and there it is you and know right in front of me while I'm eating a, wow, you know uh, a sandwich here oh we see it in movies so. <laughs> lunch and a show true that is true <laughs> you know? that is true do we see it in movies that often what, would you have cared if it was a female um I would have still been shocked yeah. In shock and awe, but what, I think that's what is that one movie where it was like ah. <laughs> it's a little bit more go ahead like muted because it's shown a lot more on screen True. and in mm. TV and in you know where I feel like like male privates aren't as shown which it they were big, it was a big deal remember, remember that trend that was going around I don't know if you guys ever saw it but it, it was like people reacting to this specific time stamp in this sp- specific show and it was like a scene of the shower scene it was like it was the first time like on uh, on a Netflix show where they like fully showed a man's like frontal and it was like a like big deal it was, everyone was reacting to it on social media I don't remember I, I, I never saw it, but everyone was like, I me remember, watching yeah. Minute I do 46. Know, it was I, like four, yeah. <laughs> four or five years ago. I do yeah. know that we watched Euphoria recently. Oh, my God. And we oh, talked about that. And that yikes. is, that's just, it's it's wiener it's, central. It's in that crazy show because a lot of wieners, it's, all, lot of boobs. it's all prosthetics. Allegedly. I mean, that's no, what they're telling the, us. No, all the wieners are prosthetics. Make, like, probably to make me feel better, but you know. But that yeah, doesn't make hey, me feel better. By the way. It's fake. Hey, don't even worry about it. It doesn't make me feel better. I'm like, okay, 
just because it's a I didn't know it was prosthetic. Prosthetic. So apparently they're all prosthetics but just because it's a prosthetic tiny wiener mm-hmm. on a you know large gentleman right in my face oh you're talking about that scene yeah yes. that makes me feel and better it, actually, I think he gets shot off right stuff. doesn't don't they come in and shoot him yes yeah I'm like okay sure but do. that doesn't yeah Oh spoilers yeah, that's for you. For okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I don't about. think that spoils anything. Great show though. It was really a big character. I but. so I started accidentally started season two when I was trying to start season one. Oh, of that. that's right. That was the very first season, right. season two, yeah. and I was like, "This is not the like, show. This I is a weird for. show." <laughs> now it obviously makes sense, but mm. yeah, I mean, well, I mean, but whatever. the The other side of me goes, "Yeah, like." That's life. Like, show everything. Like, it's art. There's, and there's that. There's people showing everything. And then there's Heidi Klum as a worm. Oh, okay. Hey, nice, right. well, nice transition. Transition. Yeah. She episodes. literally. Bumpy. Yeah, can we pull up a picture queen. of uh, the worm? She's a queen of Halloween. She's a queen of Halloween. And she normally does, Say like, cr- just crazy prosthetics. Like, she did. Queen. She did, um, what's it called? The Roger I'm, Rabbit Girl. I'm switching over to the screen so you can what's see. What's her it. name? Who's the Roger Rabbit girl? Heidi Klum. Jessica. You're talking about Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, she this did just, is like, just like prosthetic terrible. of Jessica this Rabbit. She's done crazy bad. things. You know this is too much. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, screen mirror to. There's a TikTok of her doing the, the worm as a worm. It's funny. Room. Here we go. Let's see it. And there it is, folks. Oh, oh wait, maybe this goodness. was better. Oh, zoom in. Oh, look at her face. Zoom that. in. Zoom in. Look at her face. It's really pretty. She's an earthworm. And there was a fisher. By the way, I yeah, really, and there's a fisherman with her, her on a hook. Or? I really yeah. want to see the process of that being so, put on. Oh, she'll release something every year. She releases oh, a time that? lapse. That's crazy. <laughs> so somebody was obviously helping her because she doesn't have any arms. Or well, where, she has legs. She has no, but I'm saying little like, feet. If you fell if over, she you'd got be on the done ground. For oh, sure. she definitely yes, had a whole I, team. I, I think the fisherman was the uh, oh the fisherman losing the eyeball. So funny. Oh wow. You so, can barely see her face. It's wow. so funny. It's so ugly. <laughs> it is so aggressive. I want to do that. Like, part of me goes, I want to have a crazy elaborate costume. And then the other part of me is like, hey, I just want to hang out, too. Yeah. But if you're, if you're hitting the red carpet, I think you're... <laughs> hey, did I fix the camera? You have right different uh, no. priorities. No, I didn't. Okay. I oh. Now I fixed yes. it. Yeah, okay. I, okay. I know what I'm doing here. Technology exists. Yeah. It does, um, doesn't it? I, yeah. I love... When celebrities go hard on Halloween. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, awesome. it feels like the best way they can spend their millions of dollars. Lizzo, It's just Mark by us entertaining us with really high quality qu- costumes, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's all. Well, now, it's, now hey. it's November. Thank you. No, yikes, 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 yikes. Ooh, November. What are you looking forward to this November, John? <sighs> I am looking forward to just kind of. I, so I just started a new part-time thing, job, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, finding the the balance. I feel like I'm, like, yes. really, you know, I just started at the end of October, probably last week, and uh, so I'm excited to, like, get back to equilibrium, because I feel like right now I'm just, like, doing what All I can, you know, and so, and October, as we've talked about a little bit on the show, was just absolutely insane it was for all of us. It really was. It was way yeah. too much. Mm-hmm. And so I'm excited for November to just be like a chill. Like I'm really excited for Thanksgiving just to, you know, like do all the traditions that mm-hmm. you're used to doing every year. I always get like really, uh, this, uh, I know this is going to sound cheesy, but like thankful during Thanksgiving specifically, which I know is like kind of like the brand. That's of the, kind of <laughs> the whole thing. It's the whole brand. I know. So you're doing it right. That's yeah. good. I always, I always reflect a lot during Thanksgiving specifically because Christmas, December goes by like in a fl- like literal yep. flash. Always. Yes. And so Thanksgiving is kind of this time where I feel like my mind lets me like reflect on mm-hmm. the year, on the last 10 years, on the last, you know, I don't know. And so I'm excited for that and a combination, like I said, of finding the equilibrium of like this new job. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't don't think that's cheesy or lame. I think it's good. Like, I mean, we talked about kind of earlier this episode about like setting apart time for things and, you know, it just whether or not it's it's because it's this time of year or you're just like taking the time out to like reflect and look back. And and I think that's Mm -hmm. I think that's healthy. I think everybody should do the same. Thank you. Uh, Annie, what, what, do you, you? what do you think? Oh, Annie, go ahead. I'm going to kick go over to the couch. What? What's coming November. up? Are you anything you're stoked for? 
November's my busiest time, so. Well, Ooh. also October was October busy for you or no? Or am I it was, but that? not nearly as busy as November. As it's about to be. Uh, okay, nice. A nice, lot of nice, weddings nice, nice. in mm-hmm. the in the people book. Getting wedded. Wow. A lot of people getting wedded. Lots mm-hmm. of wedded bliss. I know we we could spend the next like two weekends together. Like, I nice. know. Oh, so fun, nice. so sweet. Cool. Um, <laughs> it must be nice to be you, huh, Ryan? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> must be nice to be you, Ryan. It is. <laughs> so, so, little party over little here. Party Hi. over here. Uh, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving as well. I'm a big fan of Thanksgiving. Yeah. As a holiday. You as a foodie. Family. As a foodie. As a foodie. Big into Thanksgiving. I imagine Robert Philly goes pretty hard for Thanksgiving. Is is that true or not true? He he loves it too. I mean, he kind of goes hard every week for dinner, so he kind of takes Thanksgiving off. How long has he been doing that hard meal? Like like really intense. I mean, high since COVID, meals? right? Like since yeah. we started getting together for Couple like months, two years, pa- really. Well, when when we were all able to like get out of our houses to see people and it was like that was more normal mm-hmm. that's when we started doing family dinner like weekly literally mm-hmm. every single week he makes a big you do dinner. family dinners on both sides too so that right? started the toy like six family months dinner ago. is a little less frequent but it's oh, like okay. we still fit in where we get in mm-hmm. nice of course um but tanya makes you know multiple turkeys yes she makes all the food for thanksgiving and then she's my, kind of the she tells she's everyone, kind of like, queen. don't worry about it. We have everything yep. covered. Uh-huh. And then my dad brings, like, five appetizers. Yeah, but he'll, <laughs> he'll slide in a dip or, like, a, you know, yeah, jalapeno, jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. Oh, um, Every year. Annie, I am a specifically dark meat turkey person. Mm. I asked that a long time ago. White meat, white say, meat wait, is sometimes dry. It was dry. on the tip of my tongue. Are you a turkey or a ham? <laughs> oh, yikes. Are you a ham? Well, I'll I'll Take post it time. with the same same thing that I always say. I, I'm not like a really like intense foodie. Like I like food, but I'm not like the type of person that's like going to go over war over, over ha- turkey versus ham. That's so respectful. A little like mad, but I would say probably ham. I I like ham really? a little bit more, but also turkey. Like again, it's that it's that holiday. Like yep, you only you have, have turkey it. really. You only have a turkey the way that we make turkey around Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? How do you make turkey? Well, just like a normal way, you know what I'm saying? The big, not the like, big boy. Do you put it mm. in the oh, oven? Do you? Oh, that's true. Like, okay. well, I thought you were being like passive aggressive. Like, well, year round well, too, it's like it? you get turkey breast <laughs> you and you make, make a sandwich. It? Like, this is the oh, one year where you make all Thanksgiving sandwich, by the way, where you take all the, the stuffing and, oh, all that, and you put it in a sandwich. That, honestly, that's the best part. better than the Thanksgiving Starbucks has a stuffing sandwich. They discontinued it last year. Oh, my God. Which means it's probably not coming back this year. Oh. They want to know. But who knows? <laughs> Call no. somebody no. and make it happen. I was always Call sad. Back there. I was Call always John sad for Starbucks. the last. John for the Starbucks. last like Bebo Starbucks. Starbucks. Thank you. For th- all the years that Bebo my family Starbucks. has been doing Thanksgiving with all the Tafoyas. <laughs> yeah. I've always missed Our leftovers. Family. Because all the leftovers would be at his parents' house. Leftovers is arguably better than like. So now, the now, now I will have access to those Ooh. leftovers. Whenever I what want. What if I told you it's true. you had access the whole time? But you could I, no, always come over. You could at, always come over. Not at 1 a.m. Oh. Uh, okay, so what? You get the munchies and I'm just you want say, I'm just saying at random times at leftovers. my, like, when I was at my parents' house, so when living, I just wanted it, I'd here. be like, I have to drive to get the leftovers. But also, you were kind of hanging out at his house a lot back then, too, right? Back in the back in not the day. Not at 1 a.m. No. Before it was your house. I mean, not you, at 1 a.m., but I'm saying well, you were there Well, it was at big Yes, but they weren't. The thing is, is that they weren't my leftovers. Yeah, but she's saying, but she's saying is that. You obviously got leftovers from Maine Thanksgiving, and that that's where it was. Indeed. She's not saying Big House. She's saying their house. I would Indeed. just hope that whenever I went to Big House, there would be leftovers. And that there week. was. Here's the thing, though. For my, for my family, we did Thanksgiving a lot differently. Um, there weren't, like, leftovers like that. Really? You just ate it all. Yeah. Well, it was. it's like a big potluck with oh. my mom's side, and she has, like... You just take home five the food. siblings, you know, like it was, and then it was the eleven grandkids, and then it, it wow. was with my Beautiful. grandparents' best friends' family. So it was, it was just like a ton of people, and everyone would just kind of take their own dish back. Mm-hmm. And they're like sometimes with turkey left over in the like gotcha. communal fridge. Sometimes, like communal it just fridge, wasn't. Nice. Annie, how about day after Thanksgiving? You come on down to Big House. You have yourself a True. leftover sandwich. I yeah. will be I'm extending the... that to you. Okay, thank you. I will no, take don't finish you up that on sentence. It. Don't finish that sentence. Thank Wait, you. Annie, are you turkey or ham? Maybe we do a special where we, where we mm. eat leftovers. 
leftovers live. I would love that. A I live leftover session. Oh, a leftover sounds- mukbang. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? It sounds disgusting. <laughs> like the idea. She doesn't know. She doesn't. She's never had. She doesn't know. So mukbang culture. Not mukbang culture. Food. The food sounds great. Okay. Okay. On You're going live. to the desert. Oh, live. oh yeah, desert, yeah, desert, desert. desert. But live. Is that like eating? the tree drag or? Right, no, like that. that's after the Christmas. Christmas tree oh, no, you know, any, we, live leftover is the same thing as the twenty-five hour. We ate several uh, times bang. on yeah. live. Yeah, I, didn't, was just, uh-huh. I didn't put it by my uh-huh. my mic by it. My mouth. Well, oh, I I'm not do. saying we have to do I that in the live too. leftover live, but I'm just saying. Okay, uh, anyway, yes, I'm going to the desert. We always went to the desert for Thanksgiving. So you do two desert trips every. Year. You do a Thanksgiving. I don't think I've ever known you going to the desert. Easter. You do an Easter desert Easter trip? Easter is at the desert. It's kind of hardcore. Why are you? Um, why am I just finding this Fourth out? Fourth of July? You've literally never told me you've gone. <laughs> you've never been like, I'm going to the desert this weekend. I've never heard that. Okay, what me. desert are we I talking about here? I go to a place called Painted Gorge right off of Ocotillo. Okay. Slay. My grandparents bought an old Boy Scout camp there. What? And we, that's where Wait I a minute. went to drive. Whoa, hold on. I'm sorry. Back up. They, your your <laughs> grandparents own an old, a former it's not, it's not Boy what Scout camp. There's no cabins. There's nothing like that. Oh. It's just it space. Is, it is space. And they had like. Big parking lot. They had. No parking lot. Um, my, <laughs> no parking lot. <laughs> my there's like a giant pole with a light on it where like you know like the flag pole. Still cool um, though. Yeah, it's so it's sick. And then it has the like this concrete. Okay, so house. they bought a pole. Is it by a river? In the desert? No, it's this concrete house that like you, there, you used to have like a fire pit inside, like a legit fire pit inside. It was so weird. Shoot. But it's oh, our, it's a fun. game room and it has giant tables in it. And we should go. A, okay, a now we're talking. I would like shower. to see. It. Ryan should go you to the desert. You guys come. You definitely. Ryan, I've never been how, far, how far away? Let's go to the desert. It's like an hour. Let's go. Okay. I, so that's the thing. Is I usually go. I haven't stayed the night at the desert in a really long time. So I usually just oh, do a day okay. trip where I go that and visit sense. family. I don't like. I'm going to the desert for the weekend. Like, yeah, right. that's what I'm saying. Not that I've kind never of heard thing. you make that statement. I, so I don't do that okay, anymore. Cool. But I used to go all the time. Like, Ask your parents if it's cool if we come after Thanksgiving. That'd be so sick. Black um, Friday vlog out there. Yeah, you would meet all of my family. Okay, deal. Done. Um, that yeah. actually would be great for the case study, though. I would like to see, like, Are you your... starting a case study on Annie now? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. I, well, he felt okay. left out. You have a case study I was, on Kara. I was I under the impression I was under the impression that we all had case studies on each other. I've got a file open on all yeah. three of you. <laughs> all yeah. Of you. yeah. Yeah. I've no, actually completed uh, yours. So I, oh, it's closed. Are not you know that that I'll is real? closed. <laughs> <laughs> Dead end. Go ahead. Mostly. New Year's is more of what you would want to see. Yes. New yeah, Year's. That's true. That's true. Is New the tree. No, thanks. So I, we don't do the Christmas <laughs> tree racing. Uh, Not anymore, That's my huh? friend's camp mm. that does it. Oh, okay. No, my grandfather, every New Year's. Is that a different Boy Scout camp that somebody else Boy bought? Okay, got it. Um, my grandfather, every year, is bur- builds something to burn. And he stuffs it with fireworks. Oh. And at 9 p.m., East Coast midnight, <laughs> burns it. He's got to do it with Bob Hope. That's and good. It ha- and it's depending on there. the drunkenness of the crowd, at nine. it goes either really well or really poorly. But you weren't there last year because you were with us oh. on New Year's I've been, year. I've been with you guys for two True. years. Guys, I mean, let's, let's not break beautiful. that streak, right? That is beautiful. And we used to do a lot of the Chinese sky lanterns right? every New Year's. Ooh. And we do that pretty for, for hours. Um, you guys are like single-handedly destroying the ozone. That's pretty cool. Like yeah. fireworks and lanterns. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like really sweet. Yeah, kind of cool. Like, nice like family way. tradition. Yeah. Family tradition. Yeah. yeah. Let's make this, let's burn this to a husk. <laughs> let's, let's burn it down to a husk. Um, turkey or ham? Turkey. She's a turkey. She's a turkey. My family has a pit that they roast turkey in the pit. Oh, oh nice. turkey pit nice. roasted in the pit. That's good. I've you always wanted to try a, a deep fry. You guys deep fry your turkey? My dad does. Deep does fry. he? Deep fried in an oven, one like normal, like a normal. We had a deep. We had deep fried a couple years. Uncle Jim Never would bring his deep fryer. My Isn't dad has a, a huge literal thing where, like, like deep fried turkey kills people every year. Oh, because it they drop they drop the freaking frozen turkey and their Myth- Mythbusters did it. And yeah. it's like it gets so hot, the oil, and then and you the freaking just so drop cold. that frozen POS still, in there. It it's still is if your turkey isn't fully thawed through, yes. you you can still have an explosion. It has to be fully thawed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you can we pull pull up I, Paul I, on it? Paul up Paul up a video exploding of Paul up a video. Tur- that's why people exploding. literally always put it in. So Deep. slow because they're like, uh, uh. they always report to like, <laughs> sorry, wait, don't do that again. That was funny. Uh, 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 <laughs> they always report like the day after Thanksgiving on the news, like, oh, like there were, you know, 50 
turkey related explosions mm-hmm. in San Diego last night. And they're like, yeah, it's cool. We're all we're having a good it's time. It's fine. Yeah. We're all fine with it. Are we going to see it or no? I'm tr- well, I'm just trying my darndest. Yeah, I never, but. I always heard that, but I've never actually seen a video of it exploding. Yeah, it's Let pretty Let me know rough. if that goes. Turkey Let me know if that goes for you. It's on. Is it working? Oh my gosh, I love it. That they... The Mythbusters. Can Whoa! You- oh my goodness. Look at that fireball. Tree on fire. Yep. I'm going to play that again. Stop. Yeah, why never- <laughs> One more time. Here it is. They just, they didn't even drop it. It just went in. Well, because they probably oh. did a frozen turkey. Can you imagine? Because that's someone's Dang. hand doing it. People you're dead. Had that, your home's easily that. dead for sure. Oh, mm-hmm. that's or in- <laughs> or or you burn your house you down, wanna, or you don't want to live. No. Oh, okay, I'll God. be real, guys. Go I didn't ahead. think it was that big of a deal. Yeah, serious. That's pretty oh, intense. Like well, a heart hot oil, <laughs> grease that fire. Was yeah. I yeah. I have to say I Go think ahead. the turkey or ham. The t- oh. Mm. I used to be ham. More than turkey, but mm. I've gotten more on. T- Every year I just pile on the ham, and I'm like, I love Go ham, ahead. and then I always eat I, like half I of it. I love ham, and you I'm like, I, lo- I want more turkey with the mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the it's the, the sandwich yeah. thing because I think of like with you're literally eating sauce. a scoop with of cranberry, a scoop sauce. of oh. corn, a scoop of this, a scoop of that. Honestly, all turkey, and, and, I, and I and I just come right back to. The sandwich is the perfect. No, the freaking best time we had the sandwich the potatoes, was the gravy, going on our honeymoon turkey, last year. Oh my god! And having turkey sandwiches we, on the plate. We plane. left for our honeymoon the day after Thanksgiving last year. That's right. And we had That's leftover right. sandwiches. I dream on of the it. plane. I dream of it. it was so I good. still. We were so scared that we, it was going to be too smelly on the it plane, so we were like <laughs> hiding it. <laughs> it was perfect. That's beautiful. Ugh. Maybe we maybe we have a little Thanksgiving celebration here on the show. <gasps> I would. Yeah. Should we I would love that. Well, I'll, I'll tell the Charlie you what, Brown Thanksgiving. I'll tell you what, Dana would love to make a turkey, a, a trial turkey for us. So I'd we'd love that. Fry, so I'm oh sure he would. Uh, he'd be into a it. trial turkey day. I mean, he's, I'd he's a, pretty a, hardcore about a turkey. Small so. turkey. That's kind of. You know what my dad does? What What do he do? So since we do Thanksgiving at your house. Literally that same week, house. same week, he will make Thanksgiving to have leftovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I miss that. Raw, raw, when, raw, raw. When he'll was, make when his own that? turkey. It's for secret. It's because we yeah, we make turkey soup. And the Tafoya you save all the bones and then you make turkey soup. <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> apparently, if you're not there in the room <laughs> eating them yeah. on my parents' kitchen counter. No, because every year they make a turkey and then you save all the bones and you make turkey broth and you make turkey that soup. That is true. So Dad always wants turkey to make soup. his own turkey to make turkey soup. I've never. Heard I do. Of turkey I'm. Soup. I'm starting turkey to remember. Soup, I've Think never, of, I've it's never literally. Heard of. It's literally it's chicken, chicken soup, but with turkey. It's chicken and rice soup, mm. and it's just. Okay, turkey. what's chicken and rice soup? Go ahead and just really, just really chicken, chicken soup and rice. With rice. Soup? Instead chicken. of noodles, it's rice. Okay, cool. Oh, chicken and yeah, rice. Is no, amazing. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Actually. And it's bomb. Oh, it's, it's bomb. bomb. With, wait, you know, and you'll wait, have wait. broth. Oh, I've chicken heard of, soup. I let's talk through them. chicken soup. I've heard of chicken noodle soup. <laughs> okay, chicken and rice soup. So you don't think it's possible? You don't think it's more. You don't think it's likely that somebody would that, exchange <laughs> the noodles for right, anything else? Listen, rice. I believe that it exists. Well, great. It I'm does. just saying You're I've right. never had it. You are right. You will all come over to the house. Gosh. So, <laughs> so my mom, she didn't like how my grandma used to do it. No, you know it what, It looks Kara? like a weird brown. They're good. My mom They're adds a good. little bit of tomato paste. And I like it she's is fully like the best. It's like turkey up. chili. No, it's Annie? not chili. Your wife, your yeah. wife is fully explaining. You're like, no, honey, Kara, stop they talking about her. I'm, I don't care. Look, and she's like, my mom. We will puts, all go I'm to my parents' house I'm and have turkey soup for the I'm first time. I'm looking out for you. You will love it. No, it's I'm true. sure it's good. No. It sounds great. I'm just saying, I've never had it. Is all. It's not. It's not a normal thing. Thank you. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I tried so hard. Thank you. I tried so hard. I know. It's not a normal thing. It doesn't even matter. It's not normal. Anyway, look. I want this year one thing from you for Christmas. Go ahead. We're not talking about Christmas yet. No, no, no I, we are. Just, it, just it, one has, it has to do with Thanksgiving. Gosh. Go ahead. I want the return of Black Friday vlogs. Listen, man. Not happening. I went Black Friday <laughs> vlogging with him last year. It's not year. a thing anymore. Yeah, it was really Black Friday is not a thing? No, no it's, it's online shopping. Okay. Yeah, by the no, way. No, I'm not talking about you let's go vlogs. buy a TV. You want the vlogs. You just want, want the vlogs. The, vlogs. The, but the excitement of the vlogs was the chaos of Black stuff. Friday, okay. and let's that do doesn't this. exist. Let's do this. Thank you. Let's all. Talk to my PR When did you guys go? On Friday? Yes. We went on Black we went. What, oh, at you went Thanksgiving did you go night. At midnight? No, because everything opens early. Let's. Uh, nothing is open. Nothing is open at midnight They literally now close like. Midnight. So it's just a store. So it's just a store. So let's just 
put it on. Let's just make it happen. Let's go to Walmart. Oh gosh, let's buy a TV for half price and vlog it. it okay. Is, is that so price, much to ask? The deals aren't as good. Yeah. It's Black Friday. Really? You know, Costco just literally sent an email this morning saying Black Friday deals. My sister's about to, my sister's about to buy a couch on a Black Friday deal on November first, mind you. That's crazy. Ooh. That is Which actually is, crazy. Is, hey, what's hey. the point? What's is the point? That's not a bad idea. Well, remember. Yeah, the we, couch is we're, cool. we're not Costco members, so People. I don't know. Oh, well, I have a Costco ask Beth. Somebody can help my me. Ask Beth. Are? Everyone else in our Ask life is, so it's easy. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow. There, there's, there's a couch that my sister's getting. It's called the Pit, and it's yes. literally like like a square of cushions. It like all pops out to be a full square, and it can all change. And it is it right now. It's twenty nine hundred. Just saying, Dang. it's cheap. It's like half cool. off. Cool. Well, if I hadn't lost my job, <laughs> we could have bought it, but sadly, well, well. All right, well, I you lost, lost your job, job and we're losing okay. uh, And I'm literally th- working. Podcast, I'm so. You told your working. job to get lost. So. Yeah, that's right. By the way, I will bring it back if you be a part of it with me, all right? That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at, John. All right, cool. All right, sweet. I, I want to vlog it. I, Annie. I'm not leaning all the way over there, bro. Seriously? Bro. No. She pulled the bro on I'm you. literally working five days next week, so. True. Stoked. Stoked to be alive. <sighs> stoked to be working. Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, I don't get it. Even when you, were, you, know even when you had your job, you weren't working for five days. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm hey, saying? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Uh, go ahead, Annie. Shut up. Let it rip. Let, me tell you. Let it up. rip. You know what I'm excited about? And I've been thinking about this because we we have a different appreciation for this movie than other people, I feel like. Mm-hmm. The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Yep. The Jim Carrey version. <laughs> yep. Am we I just about it? because I'm bored? Oh, no. We could sit here and do deep cuts of those oh, lines because they are so good. Yeah, they are and good. We had a viewing party last year where the whole place was christmas fied and we're all sitting oh, in here watching I the Grinch. I can't wait. And I said, I cannot wait for that moment. I cannot wait. Let's get through Thanksgiving first, day. Eh? Yeah, let's watch a? Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Excuse a. me. A. Oh, a. Gosh, Charlie a. Brown Thanksgiving. And let's watch a Great plane, Pumpkin. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. True. Mm, no. That's a Thanksgiving movie. Oh, <laughs> no. Steve mm, Martin and John no, no. Candy? Are you, you kidding Have you seen it? Pass. Oh well. wow! All right, well, Thanksgiving wow. is pre. I will say, movies. for the record, I will say I didn't, get a, I didn't get in very many scary movies that I usually like to get in during we the holiday season. Watch and some scary movies, kind of yeah. sad to me. I, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Halloween really came quick, and it I wasn't ready quick. for it. Yeah. I wasn't ready for it. We had a lot going on. Yeah, we had a lot going on. I had the pleasure of working this weekend with mm. Jordan Rose Photography. That's right. Uh, at cool. a gig. Um, doesn't matter. Just, um, but I'll tell you what. No bigger fan of the Grinch than that one because we spent the whole, the whole afternoon. Stop. She'll like, do it. No, like she just it. in between shots. She's like, Jory, Jody, Jory, Jody, blackmail, blackmail. I've actually noticed. And she it just it catches me off guard every time. And it is funny every time. And Jordan, you're not watching, <laughs> you but so long. don't change. <laughs> you two I... are still living. <laughs> you two brats are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> It was a. What was the one where I kept saying? I was like, um, "All right, I'll go." Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one? The insurance one when he's in the car. Oh, he's driving. He's like, <laughs> "Get out of the way! I don't have insurance." <laughs> So it's nice. because I'm green, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, I always do. Uh, the best. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. That's, That's it. I'm not going. <laughs> Well, my roommate still hasn't seen it. We gotta show it to her. Yeah, she'll see it. She better. No, Thanksgiving. Well, um, on the couch as always, Kara Tafoya, Annie the Scove Scoveman, I'm right. Ryan, I'm John, and we'll see you next week on What, what the, the Podcast! Podcast. Annie, you didn't do <laughs> it, Annie. <laughs> God! Annie. Two episodes. Come on.